What's up, YouTubians? Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back. Tonight? Oh, tonight? That's right. We're going to do a weekend push this weekend. I've got three days off. President's Day is Monday. I know you guys are roughly two or three weeks behind right now because I've been actually pushing hard to get this chassis done just like I promised. So, Gary, what exactly are we doing? Well, it's pretty simple. Do a little bit of Bondo fill just to help kind of cover some of the imperfections. Again, it's about 95% better than what it was. I'm not trying to make show car, not trying to make this thing 100%. We're just getting it as good as we can get it. It's better than it was by far. So today, <laughs> I should say tonight, I'll show you what we're doing. All right, so tonight, that's right. We've got some Rust-Oleum primer, some Magic tractor, truck, and implement paint, and some 3M seam sealer. So we need to go ahead and get the seam sealer down onto the chassis. It needs to cure for, I think it's 30 minutes to an hour, but my thinking is let it cure overnight, right? Then tomorrow we'll come out, go ahead and throw a couple coats of primer down, which I've already ran the primer through all the seams real well, and just let it drip out the bottom. So we'll go ahead and seam seal everything real solid tonight. Frame head, pans, everything. And then tomorrow, Throw a couple coats of primer, I'll walk you through that with the Rust-Oleum, and we'll go ahead and do the Magic Tractor Truck and Implement Paint, which is some amazing paint, I tell you. Stuff is amazing. I don't know if you can see it or not. I did some push rod tubes with the rattle can. And you see how beautiful those things look. And that's just one coat. I mean, this, this thing's just amazing stuff, and it dries rock solid. All right, enough jibber-jabber. Let's walk through putting some seam sealer down. Now here's a tip for you. A little bit of water on your finger, it'll smooth it right out nice. There we go. Seam sealing was not half bad. Oh. So, I went through almost a whole tube of it to be able to do the frame head, both sides of the pan. I went around back here, around the seams, did a few other areas. Um, I did beat the seat tracks off, so I tack welded all those holes shut. So I went ahead and filled on the bottom side just to make sure there was no pinholes in my work. I, I really don't want this leaking. Um, again, not going for a show car, but yeah, that's it. Use a regular caulk gun with the seam sealer. Let's see if I can, uh, uh, uh. it's the uh, 3M08367. It's the black seam sealer. So we'll let this dry overnight. It says it only needs roughly 30 minutes to an hour to dry. We're gonna give it overnight because tomorrow we're gonna verify everything's good it's hitting primer. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's paint and primer day. Let's get after this. All right, so last night, went ahead and got seam seal done, did a little bit of touch up. We're good to go. One thing I f failed to mention is I already took the wire wheel to everything, both sides, got everything as clean as possible. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wipe everything down. Once everything's wiped down, it's time for primer and then the first coat of paint. So without further ado, we need to wipe this chassis down. Then we'll get into priming, mixing primer, and doing some paint. There 
we go. Everything's wiped down, ready to go. We got everything clean. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not a painter. I haven't painted anything in probably 18, 19 years. I painted one motorcycle, that was it. I'm not a painter. Did the motorcycle turn out all right? It actually did. I don't know how, but it did for my first time ever painting. So do I have high hopes for this? No, because it's not a show car. We're trying to get some primer and paint on it. So we got everything set up here. Went through my gun, nice little cheap Harbor Freight gun. And what we're gonna do with the Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer, is we're gonna mix this eight to one. So I've got my cup here. We've got the eight to one there. So we're gonna fill it up to three mark, or the three mark, and then the three mark. And that should give us enough. If we need to mix some more, not a big deal, because we are gonna go ahead and put two coats of this on the chassis, top and bottom. So we're gonna start off with some, see how that does. First thing we need to do is go ahead and mix this up, make sure it's thoroughly mixed, then we'll pour in some in, and then we're gonna, again, reduce it eight to one with some acetone. So, let's get mixing. Primer's on. Not seeing any tiger stripes anywhere. That actually looks better on camera than it does in person. Then again, it will dry flat because it's, you know, rusty metal primer. And if you notice, I took and put some regular vinyl hose around my fuel line, just that way I don't get paint all over my nice, pretty new fuel line. Wow. Wow, so that's what this is supposed to look like, huh? All right. Well, we'll let this dry for a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and mix up our first coat of paint. We'll give that a whirl. I'll bring you guys back, don't worry. We're making progress. Well, it took a little bit longer to dry due to the fact that we got some high humidity, some kind of front moving through, go figure, it's Florida. So, we got two coats on, dried, good to go there. So now we'll move on to the magic tractor truck and implement paint it's an oil base enamel they actually have their own specific reducer and it says on here that you actually use um, this entire pint per gallon which equates to a eight to one ratio so we'll do the same thing we'll go ahead and mix up the paint reduce it fill it i got the sprayer all cleaned up I'll go ahead and get shooting. Let's do this.
kind of speechless. Um, I'm sure I didn't have my gun dialed just right, but I can tell you right now, hot dang. Wow. Maybe I might be a little better at this than I thought. Or maybe I'm not, and it just looks better on camera than it does in person. Not sure. Man, that's... It looks good. The nice, even coverage. And that's one nice coat. Now, one thing about the Magic Farm and Implement paint is it needs 24 hours between coats. This will stay tacky for quite a while. Even their Rattle Can version will stay tacky for hours. But when it dries, boy, does it dry nice and hard. So she said. Anyway, um, <laughs> so again, make sure you give it plenty of time between coats, but it, it's really easy. If I can spray it, anybody can spray it is, is basically what I'm coming off at here. This looks pretty good. I'm sure if this was you know, a finished coat, it would not be all that great or something, but I, I can't complain. This looks good enough for what I need. Absolutely good enough for what I need. So what I'll do is on, this is, yeah, I'll probably wait two days. I'll probably go ahead and wait two days. Uh, we'll go ahead and put a secondary coat on it, nice and thick, and then we'll let that dry for a couple days. Then we'll be ready to start putting tranny in, putting axles on, brakes, and all the other stuff. So appreciate you sticking around. Appreciate you being here. Hope you got some kind of useful information out of this because I know I did, along with a little bit of confidence. So be kind to one another. Until the next time, be good.